In this video, we'll be talking and studying about transitive relation. In the earlier videos, we have already talked about different types of relations like trivial relation, identity relation, reflexive relation, symmetric relation, transitive relation and equivalence relations. Now, till symmetric relation we've already done. Now we'll be talking about transitive relation and in the subsequent videos, we'll be taking up equivalence relation and problems related to these types of relation. Now let's see what is a transitive relation. We already have some knowledge about these relations till fourth symmetric relation which have been covered earlier. Let's see what a transitive relation is and let's see some examples then which will help me to understand what basically a transitive relation means. Transitive relation. A relation R is said to be a transitive relation if and only if. I have already told you that this I double F means if and only if A B belongs to R and B C belongs to R implies A C belongs to R for all A B C belongs to A. Let's see what does this mean. Actually I have a set called as capital A and there are some elements in this set those are a, B, C. Now, if a relation exists such that A and B are related, that means A related to B, I'll write it down here for you, that means A related to B, this is already given. Also, I have B, C belongs to R, that means B related to C is also given to me. What do we infer or what does a transitive relation infer from them? For these two relations, if already present, if I imply A related to C, I would be saying that yes, this is a transitive relation. If first and second are related, second and third are related, first and third related gives me a transitive relation. Let's see an example for the same. The best example, easiest one to understand a transitive relation would be parallelity of lines. That means parallelity of lines is a transitive relation. Let's see how parallelity of lines is a transitive relation. Let's consider into picture two lines. L1 and L2 and I say L1 related to L2 that means L1 is parallel to L2 because the relation is what? The relation is parallelity of lines. Now again if I have second pair of lines as parallel and the second pair of lines is L2 parallel to L3 that means L2 and L3 are also related. Now, if two lines L1 and L2 are parallel, I mean if, okay, this is L1 and this is parallel to L2. Also, if I have L2 and L3 as parallel, this means this is L2, this is parallel to L3. Does that not mean from these two equations or these two statements that L1 and L3 are also parallel? That means a relation is followed from them. So I infer from these that L1 related to L3. That means this is a transitive relation. Parallelity of lines is a transitive relation because it follows the definition which I had written above that if a and B are related, B and C are related, then A and C related gives me a transitive relation. Let's look at um, some other example, a second example for the same. A second example for this could be taken up as congruency of triangles. So I have a second example that would be congruency of triangles. Just in case we saw parallelity of lines, now we can have congruency of triangles to let me understand the transitive relation.
Let now the relation be congruency of triangles. And let's see how congruency of triangles help me understand the above heading transitive relation. Let us have two triangles T1 and T2 such that T1 is related to T2. Wherein we know what is the relation? The relation is nothing but transitive relation for congruency we are going to study. Okay. T1 related to T2. Also suppose I have another pair of triangle wherein T2 is related to T3. That means T2 is congruent to T3. Here T1, T2, T3 are the triangles. Now from these two statements can I infer one thing? That if first and second triangle are congruent, second and third triangle are congruent, the first and third would be congruent. So from these two I imply T1 is related to T3. Now since this follows from the above definition, I can say that congruency of triangle is also an example of a transitive relation. So by now, we have studied few other types of relation and in this video, we saw what is a transitive relation.